So, welcome to another video. So, today, what we're we looking at? Oh, I'm gonna have a walk about today, um, someplace local. Um, it's my local reservoir, uh, it's beautiful over there. Oh, there's a little robin over there just in front of me. No camera in hand, what a lovely picture that would be. Never mind, these things happen, right? Um, so I'm gonna have a walk about. Um, and whilst I'm walking about, I'm gonna tell you what gear I've got, um, and what settings I'm using whilst on a walkabout, okay. Um, today, oh, it's come right over to the car. It's just dropped right in front of the car, this Robin has. <laughs> a cheeky little blazer. They know, they know, they know when the camera's in hand and they know when it's still in the bag. They know. Okay, so what I'm doing, so I'm going to tell you what settings I'm using whilst on the walkabout. Um, kit I've got with me today, I've got my full rucksack with me today. Um, most of the weight is in the camera and lens anyway. Um, I've got my macro lens over here with me, uh, tripod. Uh, I've brought my bag hide as well because I don't know what I'm going to expect. Okay, things have changed. Grass snakes are out now. Possibility adders. All sorts of things could happen here today. So it's an opportunity walkabout. Photography walk, all right? Around about a couple of miles. Two miles, thereabouts, all the way around it. If I do make it all the way around, um, I don't know, three hours, maybe a bit more. So that's it. We'll talk about it as we go around. I'll show you the pictures as we go around. Let's go and enjoy the afternoon. So we're in the nature reserve part of it. Had a few thundery downpours the last few days. It is a bit squelchy, a bit humid. Um, I'm probably a bit late in the day really, but I was busy this morning. You know, what we life and all that. Um, but I am sharing this trail. The only person who's been down here is, uh, has been a deer's tracks. Been through there. Uh, it's quite possibly road here. I've seen them here in the fields um, over the years. So what settings do I use? Well, I always shoot in manual. Um, and I use the rule of thumb of I don't shoot generally any lower than um, the longest length of the lens I've got on. So it's 600. So 1,600. Um, Today I'm shooting, sort of starting at one one thousandth, and that gives me the option to go up for anything in flight and what have you. Okay, so we'll start with that.
I weren't far wrong with the deer. Um, yeah, that was, that was as I walked down. Oh, there's some willow warblers. And I've done a piece of camera, never mind. Um, as you can see, I'm near the pool. I've come a little bit closer. I've never come this close before, so it's, it's quite photogenic. I thought I'd spend maybe, you know, a bit of time here. Got plenty of time, you know, some don't go down till half seven, that kind of thing. And I'm not hungry, so. But on the deer, yeah. Um, as I passed the track near the, um, near the farmer's field, I saw um, a couple of does up there. So, yeah, I felt way far wrong. I just stood there. I couldn't move. I didn't move. Um, wind was in the right direction in my favour, but I didn't move. I didn't move the camera because they were looking right at me. But what a privilege. Hopefully, fingers crossed, one day this year, uh, I'll get some footage and maybe some photos. Let's have a look here, see what we got here. I don't know if you can see or even hear. There's a moorhen right in front of me with three chicks just gliding them through the reed bed there. Hear it? It's things like that that make it very special to be out in in and around nature. So what other um, settings do I, I prefer? On the metering side of things, generally I'm sort of more on the centre weighted type of things. What I've found is, especially because around here there's a lot of water and day like today it's, it's really quite harsh sunlight now. Fluffy clouds occasionally, sort of clouds go in and it diffuses it nicely, but um, so I sort of centre weighted towards the subject it tends to give me slightly better uh, results. At the moment, I'm one sixth fortieth of a second because um, it's sort of really slow subject. And there's a great crested grebe um, fishing in there, and there's a mallard duck swimming from behind that boy to the other side of the boy and back again. I don't know whether there's a nest local or something there. But it's been doing it ever since I got here and sort of behind me and to my left when I'm standing facing the lake. Um, there's something going on to my left. I keep hearing stuff. Sort of, it sounds like something's wading in there and maybe hunting. Could be a heron there maybe, I don't know. You get herons and, and the egrets coming here as well. Because in the summer it's quite hard to get into. Um, and you can't really see as you can see because of the reeds, but this is one, start, one spot that's a bit more open this year. So I'm going to keep this one in mind for sure. And it's, oh, here we go. Look, it's beautiful, isn't it? You know, listening to the birds and what have you. Just amazing. So there's another setting.
Okay, so um, we've left uh, the pool now. It was just that grey leg goose. Um, I'm out of Arden. Uh, more home with some chicks. And uh, grey goose is green fishing. There's a group here actually, but it keeps going from one side of the weir to the other side of the weir. It's playing games with me. Um, so I'm at the top now. In, in an earlier video, you saw me sort of take some photographs of. Uh, Grey heron and all that kind of stuff from up here, so that's kind of where I am now if you've seen videos before. So, settings then, so aperture wise, anything between sort of 5 wide open to f8, okay, at the moment. Oh, there's that grebe, look at that, really quite close as well, really nice. Oh, I'm not, no, it's gone under again, but it is fishing this side, so. Maybe, we're we'll seeing a bit. Um, as I was saying, F8. So I got distracted. That's what happens when you go on wildlife walks. The wildlife distracts you. Um, F8. I'm really getting good results at F8 at the moment. So, let's go over a quick sort of recap of what I normally shoot. So I go out on a shoot manual, and that's what I normally do. Um, Unless I'm really doing sort of portrait stuff, I might go to AV mode on, on the Canon, aperture priority mode. Okay, um, and then I can have the, the the aperture wide open, get that really lovely creamy background. But what I found, I, I don't want the, the ISO to go too high, even though I'm using um, auto ISO. I, I don't want to creep it up too high. Yeah, yeah, I've got the software to run it through, and it cleans it up beautifully. But, you know, old school and all that. Um, shutter speeds, sort of anything from one six hundredth on above. I kind of, you know, that's the longest my lens will go, so that's the kind of the lowest I kind of tend to, as a rule, go. But you know, I, I do push it lower, um, and you do f8, especially I've been getting sharper images. Handheld, then, so I start handheld one. One thousandth, one two hundredth of a second. Okay, so one thousand two hundredth of a second, uh, or twelve hundredths of a second, or if you want to put it that way. Why? Because this combination tends to shoot really well there and above at handheld with uh, image stabilization on. And then, depending on what it is, I will go right away up to two thousandths of a second, and sometimes a bit beyond. All right depending on what I am shooting. I've been known to go uh, 3,500th of a second uh, for some things, okay. Uh, and if the light's really good, and that's not a problem, we induce the ISO lights. So, quick recap on, oh, there's a nice gray leg. Going into the field, it's going to land over there. Oh, no, it's not. It's decided to go up. nearly went into the power lines and it's gone down in the field behind me. Um, so I'm sort of the exposure mode is sensor weighted. I generally that's what I tend to favour. Uh, but you know, full uh, AV mode, you know, all of the, the the area you can use to evaluate evaluation mode. Right? Uh, but centre weighted is generally the one that I tend to favour. Spot metering, I tend to, I, I, me, I tend to go too dark sort of there. Uh, for me, um, that's kind of what I do. And focus points then, finally, focus points. So, when everything's in, fo in flight, um, the group of nine in the centre, okay? That's where I tend to go with that. And... Anything sort of swimming, like a groove down in front of me now. Um, sort of slow moving stuff. Single point. And if you want to go on the cannon, you can go s even further with a single point. There's another one, it's a little square with a dot in the middle. That, that really, really sort of goes in. So, those are the settings I use. Okay, I, I don't uh, use the LCD screen on the back for photographs. I only use that for video. And that's a whole different video on the video settings of that, so. So if I've missed anything out, do comment in the in below, okay? I've been getting distracted by what's around me. 
even though I haven't seen too much today. So there you go, as I said, also in another video, um, that's wildlife photography, wildlife and bird photography for you. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. I've been here early in the morning and you still don't see too much, you know. Um, and then you can come again and it's absolutely loaded with stuff. But there it is, I'm only halfway around. I'm gonna see if I can take some photographs of that grave. So there we go, um, that was a quick walk around uh, my local reservoir again, uh, really quiet today, yeah, it's sort of summer's coming in, but more interest will come as the sort of spring sort of comes and you start seeing the young, uh, young birds and what have you a little bit more and, and the meadows get a little bit sort of more lush, you get more butterflies and things like that up at the top there. A couple of big buddlier that come up in the summer and you get loads of butterflies on that so it gives nice interest as well no grass snakes today uh, saw some, um, a couple of people saw some grass snakes over the recent weeks i went to have a look at nothing there um, we had a look around the pond i found a nice place that uh, i might be able to stake out for a few hours um, just grebes gray legs um, mallards there was a gray heron right over in the distance or towards the end i I wasn't going to film that, it was just too far off, you may have been a speck in the distance. And I think that is all of the settings guys, if it's not please uh, comment below um, and I'll be happy to tell you what I use on walk around. It is one of my favourite types of photography, I do like sitting in a hide as well, but you know sometimes just like getting out there. And as we see today, it, I didn't get much, um, but that's how it goes that's that's uh, bird photography and wildlife photography sometimes you don't get much but i did find a nice place near the pool that they've cleared that you know even when the reeds come up i'll be able to get there so it was worth the trip out anyway there you go guys so if you like what you see please do hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you all very soon in another video Bye bye